Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La Land. I'm so excited to welcome Joey Vieira to the show. You may recognize him from ABC's Shark Reef and, of course, from the new live action Dora. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, early morning, Hollywood. Um, I just, it's, I'm, I'm back from Australia. Uh, so I'm here for a few days and then, and then back off to Australia. What were yeah. you doing in Australia? Uh, I've been working on uh, a Dora um, until late last year, and then all this year I've been working on wow. a reef, reef break uh, on ABC. So that's nice. been filming uh, on the Gold Coast. So wow. tell us about your role in Dora. In Dora, well, I, I play Diego's father, uh, so Dora's uncle, Tio Nico. And um, it's a, look, it's a story on my end, um, but with my family, it's about moving from the jungle, from a small town, small village, into the big city. You know, sort of to make that better, uh, that, that decision to, to sort of hopefully better your family and give them more opportunities, moving into a big city. So we move into Los Angeles. Uh, and then years later, she comes to visit and then um, gets, you know, goes on a little adventure, uh, <laughs> <laughs> which you'll see in the movie. Yeah. Um, How much of that does, re does that reflect your own life? What was your journey into the entertainment business? Yeah, well, um, it's funny. So my parents are from a, a small island um, off the uh, Portugal coast uh, called the Azores Islands. Mm -hmm. So they moved out here in the early 70s, uh, same thing, coming out to, to, uh, to better their life and also hopefully, you know, give their, their kids uh, more opportunity when they got older. And so the journey, my journey, and sort of what that shows, the movie's journey is, is very similar to, to my life. So for me, just reading the character, reading the story, I was like, wow, that's what a lot of us do, you know, that, that have come over. It's like they, they see America as a place to come out and, and hopefully, you know, just, just excel in something right. um, because there are more opportunities. These are not small projects. So how's this been? How's, the, how's it been received? What's it like? Uh, look, there's, there's, there's a, it's been fun. Um, I can pr pretty much say, like, for the three months of, of being on set um, in Australia, every day, everybody had a smile on their face. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was just a fun, fun, fun project. Um, reuniting with everyone um, during the premiere over the weekend, same thing. Uh, from James Bobbin, the director, to uh, Isabella Moner, um, uh, Jeffrey Wahlberg, who plays my son. I mean, everyone was just so great to come back together, and it's just it's been a complete positive experience. And then watching the movie and watching my son jump up and down mm -hmm. um, from his seat, so watching the movie. It's just such a great family fun film. I think in a time where we need more family fun uh, projects. Right. So true. Yeah. It's so exciting. So what's next for you, Joey? Um, well, uh, uh, we've wrapped on, on Reef Break, um, but that, I think we're on the fourth episode, um, airing this Thursday uh, on ABC, and that will go for 13 weeks. And then I've got another project that's coming up called um, Welcome to Wriggleton, which is a kind of a, the office meets like the middle of Australia, and I play, I play an American cop in the middle of mm. Australia. Wow. Um, but it's a fun comedy, a, you know, like a, uh, like a behind the scenes sort of footage, like The Office. Yeah. So, so back to the family thing, how do you manage that? How do you, like, I, I was wondering, right? like, what's that yeah. like for an actor that goes off to set, goes off, travels off? Yeah. What's that like for your family? How do you deal with that? Well, my wife is also in the industry. So it, yeah, it's a bit of a juggle. Um, she's a boss lady. So she's, you All know, right. she makes <laughs> shout out. No, but no, like, she really is, and she's amazing, and she's she's got, you know, she wears a cape uh, <laughs> in my eyes and in my son's eyes. Yeah. She really does. Yeah. So we we juggle, um, and when I'm not on set, that's you know, most important thing is getting that drop off and that pickup. Mm. So that is my focus, and then my world sort of evolves like before that, in the middle of that. And then once I have him home, it's about, you know, homework and getting him fed and showered People before she gets home. People might not know that. They might not know that. It's like when you're a parent, it's like all about the who's picking oh. up, who's dropping off. Oh, it's, like it's <laughs> everything. Oh, Logistics. Every, it's, yeah, and when, it's it, like, and when it doesn't happen, it's like, oh, shit, I got to call grandma. It's like, hey, she's a 40-minute drive. I'm like, uh, so I've been called a set. Uh, can you come and pick? And then if that doesn't work, then you're calling, like, another, you know, another parent, student's parent. Yes. You're going, hey, can you pick up my kid on your way? But can you get there at 7.30 a.m.? Because I have to leave at 7.45. <laughs> so how do you stay balanced in keeping your mind right through all this? I mean, the dad, Hollywood. Yeah. Well, it, it does, you know, it, it can keep you up at night um, because you are going, because you're like logistically trying to figure out how's that day going to run. And like you don't, it's, like, the most important thing in my life is my son, is my family. Um, so if, if, you know, if the poop hits the fan, you know, that's, <laughs> that's the one thing, that's where I go. Making sure he's okay. Yeah. Making sure you know the family's okay. Uh, and if that means you know 
not going to work or making some adjustments. Um, well, now you can just put door on and you're right there. That's right, exactly. Um, that's true. You you know, do both. What a gift. <laughs> <laughs> and he's absolutely loving that movie. Oh my gosh. So clearly yeah, family is your one thing. Yeah. When did you discover acting to be your one thing professionally? <sighs> Jeez, I think like a lot of people, you know, you're, you're, when you're young, you know, you're, you're watching, you know, programs, movies, you're, and you're entertained, and you're loving it, and, um, and you hope that, I don't know, just one day you, you do something, and uh, I was studying theater, I was on stage, I was doing dance, um, so I was, uh, I, I was dating a girl who was in ballet, and she, so I was doing football in the afternoon and doing ballet with her in the evening, um, and I kind of like being on stage and performing. Uh, and that's sort of where it led into the acting. Uh, and then when I was at university, I didn't quite know what to, grad to, to, to major in because I didn't know what I liked. And I spoke to a director I was working with and he said, look, major in what you love doing. I was like, well, I love acting. He's like, well, let's major in that. You know, not everyone actually gets jobs in what they major in, but might as well enjoy the journey nice, of being at university. Smart. So I did it. And went to Cal State University in Northridge, um, got my bachelor's in theater, and from there continued to study. Um, got an agent, started working commercials, did a TV show, uh, TV shows, films, just a little bit parts here and there, but then mainly doing commercials. Um, and I, I loved it, but I did do the work. It wasn't like, you know, all of a sudden I'm on a corner of the street and they go, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They say it takes 12 to 15 years to be an overnight success. Yeah, it, it took a little, that time, almost times mm -hmm. two. But yeah, almost times two. Wow. So wow. And voila. Just, here yeah, you are. here I am. And I've, I haven't stopped working. So it's. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. That's itself. That's so cool. Yeah. It, it is. Yeah. It's, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm pinching myself. <laughs> is this really happening? Yeah, yeah it, it's, yeah. It, it, what's funny too is in this, in this industry, you don't, you really don't know. It's a guess, even for you guys and what you guys do, mm, right? Yes. You, you come out, you, you, you audition for the roles, right? They're job interviews. And we have a job, job interview almost every day. And the job will begin and end usually on that day. Right. Yeah. So, and my, my parents were like, so uh, <laughs> how long are you on this job for? I'm like, for a day. Like, <laughs> There's <laughs> zero stability <laughs> that or work? security yeah. in this. So when's your next job? I'm like, well, I have to go to more job interviews. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's weird. Yeah. So fascinating. It's, it's not, you know, it's just. It's, it's one really of those like, industries where the more jobs you have in a year, the better. Not like, oh, oh that's, like that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, you've, been, you've been fired how many times? Yeah. You've been let go. You've had 52 <laughs> jobs this year because you're happy about that? Yeah. Uh, we're, we're basically, we're let go. That's that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. It's like, you're let go. It's like, I'm back on unemployment. <laughs> you know, but it, it's, it's, it's stressful. Um, and then it gets not. But it's one of those things where you take a dive and you just, for me, I just, I was enjoying the journey. Um, and it didn't matter how long it took, and I had support from family, from friends. My wife's a huge supporter, uh, and now having a you know a, a son, and he's an amazing supporter. It's like wow. it's funny because I, I you know walk, I take my kid to school. My wife is working probably twelve hours a day, seven days a week because she's a producer. So it's well, maybe you should start hat. practicing more gratitude. I think that you kind of <laughs> yeah. in that area for sure. So well, I kind of strut myself <laughs> oh, to, you're three, to three B, <laughs> drop my kid up. So no. people want to take the journey with you online. Where can they find you? Uh, so the Joey Vieira is my Instagram. Um, Joey, oh God, I think it's cap, all caps Joey, little case A, all caps Vieira uh, on Twitter. <laughs> but Joey Vieira, like the, the trickiest part is my last name, um, which is V I E I R A. The three vowels in a row, the row it throws everybody oh, off. I'm oh. sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, Meredith Vieira. Meredith, Meredith Vieira. Has the same last name. She paved the way. Thank God. There you go. Thank you so oh much, Joey. God. We appreciate you. Congratulations, Andorra. Stay Thank tuned. You. Back more. Thank Good morning, Wildlands. Thanks.